Robert Pattinson explains how he interprets Batman's famed no-kill rule. Throughout the years, one of Batman's most defining characteristics has been his refusal to murder his foes. Nearly every iteration of the character has kept to that guideline, from the campy Adam West Batman to more recent versions played by Michael Keaton and Christian Bale. A noteworthy exception to this is Ben Affleck's Batman, probably the most violent variation of the character on film, and who has been seen to kill and even wield firearms. For years, fans have debated whether or not Batman should kill, and now Pattinson has added his two cents. Pattinson explores the psychology behind his version of Batman, notably the character's no-kill rule, in an interview with the French magazine Premiere. Along with describing how he addressed this part of Batman, Pattinson also stated that he could only have portrayed a superhero if he was given the freedom to explore the character's darker side. He said, There is this rule with Batman. He must not kill. It can be interpreted in two ways. Either he only wants to inflict the appropriate punishment, or he wants to kill and his self-control prevents him from doing so. I imagined it that way from the rehearsal of the first fight, I thought it was funnier. Something in him just wanted to slit the guy's throat. I told myself that if he spends his nights chasing criminals, it is impossible that he does not take pleasure in it. He suffers and it is a desire that overwhelms him. And by dint of knocking, his mind clears, he calms down, he reaches a state close to plenitude. I'm sure in this first fight, he manages to convince himself that every guy in front of him is the one who killed his mother and so that allows him to vent all his rage. The interesting thing is that this Batman practically lives in the gutter. He's nowhere at home except on the street when he's wearing the suit. He lives a criminal life, but without committing crimes. I felt like I could get something out of that. Anyway, I could only play a superhero if he was really dirty. Pattison's statements appear to suggest the Batman will not depict his character murdering anyone. However, based on the previews for the Batman, he will undoubtedly be shown thrashing a number of criminals to within an inch of their lives. Most depictions of the character will stop there, aiming to portray Batman in violent conflicts but without allowing him to inflict any fatal blows. Director Zack Snyder claimed that Affleck's interpretation in Batman v Superman was an inaccurate portrayal of the character, and purposely presented the vigilante's activities leading to tragic results. Many have disputed this interpretation, however in the most recent DCEU film, Peacemaker, the protagonist claims that Batman is a worse hero since he does not murder his foes, instead allowing them to flee and wreak more harm in the long run. Although there is no clear solution to whether or not Batman should kill, it's fascinating to watch how Pattinson has incorporated that topic into his portrayal of the character. For his side, Batman wants to kill, even implying that he believes every criminal he battles is the person who murdered his parents, but he manages to keep a sliver of self-control to keep himself from doing so. It appears that in the Batman, not allowing his wrath overwhelm him totally is practically all that differentiates Pattinson's Bruce from the villains he battles. It's a razor-thin line that Batman has walked for decades. When Pattinson's Dark Knight eventually hits the big screen, it'll be interesting to watch how close he gets to crossing the line.